Hello, in this tutorial I will show you the settings tab, explaining how to make use of some of the features in the drop down menu. We have a printer management option that you would use to adjust your printer settings if for example your labels are printing a little to the side or too high or too low when using the default printer option. In most cases you will not need to use printer management. You can usually solve these problems by ensuring you have the correct media size set up in the printer driver and that the media is loaded correctly into the printer. But if you do need to use this feature, you can print a calibration sheet and then after measuring it, you would click create new printer calibration. You would then need to name the new calibration and adjust the distances for the left and top of the sheet. You will also notice a tick box for color printer. If you are using an RI box on your label and this is ticked, it will print the percentages in color but if left unticked, they will be mono printed with the additional description of low, medium and high. Your changes will automatically be saved. So after entering your values, you can then go back to the print center to print your labels. There is an allergen management option in case you need to add any additional allergens to the default list. Just click the tab and then click the create allergen button to add your allergen. This will create a new tick box within the allergens field in products. You will then notice that any allergens that you have added yourself are editable and that they can also be removed if necessary. Clicking site preferences allows you to make changes to the default way that the ingredient and nutritional fields are presented. So you can do things like add prefixes or suffixes for the weight or include or exclude information such as the percentages from the ingredients field. By default, the nutrition box has columns for both 100 gram values and per pack. Either of these can be hidden by unticking the box. Using My Custom Fields will allow you to create a custom field that can then be available in the product center and added to a template in the template designer. Just click the button to create your field and then type its name and choose what type of field is required before choosing the field's visibility options. There is also a company details option in which you can keep your address, email and phone number up to date. Any changes made here will be reflected in the company details field if you have that on your template. 